Talk about a brain melter. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mind-bending moments in sci-fi movies. For this list, we're picking big screen twists and turns that left our minds blown and our eyes doubting what they'd just seen. In other words, shocking and memorable revelations or moments that kept us thinking and thinking and thinking. Is there someone in the room with us? Warning, this list contains spoilers. Number 10. Soylent Green is people, Soylent Green. Detective Thorne, 14th Precinct. See what we said about spoilers? In a world where industrialization has turned everything into an overpopulated wasteland with a steadily declining food supply, the Soylent Corporation creates Soylent Green. You were young, people were better. Oh, nuts. People were always rotten. Well, the world was beautiful. This water-based green stuff is advertised as a great source of nutrition. Because of its enormous popularity, Soylent Green is in short supply. Remember, Tuesday is Soylent Green Day. So, on the surface, it appears to be the answer to human starvation. But unfortunately, it is later revealed to be made out of the actual remains of human corpses. The phrase, you are what you eat, has never been more true, or more disturbing. It's people. Soylent Green is made out of people. Number nine, Ash is a robot alien. Ash, can you see this? Yes, I can. I've never seen anything like it. As if dealing with a deadly, chest-bursting alien wasn't enough, the crew of the Nostromo is in for one heck of a twist when it's revealed that their science officer, Ash, is really an android. <laughs> Unbeknownst to the crew, his first priority was to bring the extraterrestrial life form back alive for research purposes, making the human crew expendable assets. <laughs> Luckily for Ripley, she's saved at the last possible moment by Parker, which leaves Ash headless and our minds blown. Number 8. Dream or Reality – Total Recall You're dreaming. Doug? Is it about Mars? In the world of Total Recall, customers can purchase memories and live out their wildest dreams without ever having to leave the building. No shit! Fuck with your brain, pal! It ain't worth it! Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Douglas Quaid, a man who freaks out while getting his Mars vacation implant. Okay, I'm dreaming. And all this is part of the delightful vacation your company has sold me. Right? Not exactly. What you're experiencing is a freeform delusion based on our memory tapes. But you're inventing it yourself as you go along. If it is my delusion, who the hell invited you? We later discover that Quaid is actually a man named Hauser, who's had his memory switched out so that Quaid would unknowingly lead the bad guys straight to their rebel leader. You paid to be a secret agent. Bullshit. It's coincidence. But wait, is his adventure on Mars even real, or is Schwarzenegger actually in the simulation he signed up for? Talking about a mind bender that keeps on bending. I just had a terrible thought. What if this is a dream? Number seven, intersecting timelines, Primer. It's traveling an odd number of forward and backward trips. If we've learned anything over the years, it's that time travel isn't all fun and games. All right, we start the machine with a weeble at the AM. It travels okay, forward normally. You, you gotta write this down. Hey, Aaron, there's nothing to write down. Well, then I'm writing it. Okay, fine, look. Sure, you might be able to travel to the past and fix a crucial mistake, or journey to the future to benefit from knowing what's to come, but there's no denying the dangerous risks you're taking. Whoa, come here for a second, man. What's on your hand? You're bleeding? It is blood. You're turning around. You see it? Where's it coming from? In one of the most complex sci-fi films ever made, the characters of Primer learn the repercussions of time travel with each decision they make, encountering doubles of themselves, experiencing health problems, and much, much more, making us think twice about tampering with time. Who knows what would have happened if he hadn't been there. Number six, fantasy ending, Brazil. Now, this is what we call a brain tease. 
The ending of Terry Gilliam's 1985 science fiction classic is a head spinner. You okay? Tato. Call me Harry. What was thought to be a happy ending for Sam Laurie is quickly revealed to be the product of his own delusions. In reality, Sam is still strapped to the chair in which he was being tortured following treason charges. Jack Lint and Mr. Heltman declare him to be a lost cause and leave Sam alone to smile and sing Brazil all to himself. The rewind function on your VCR has never been more appreciated. Tomorrow was another day. The morning found me miles away. Number five, Neo wakes up in the real world, the Matrix. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Now that's what you call sugarcoating. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. After deciding to take the red pill to go down the rabbit hole, Neo wakes up to a startling reality. The real world is a cold wasteland run by machines. Welcome to the real world. Humans are no longer born, but grown. Am I dead? Far from it. Everyone is connected to the Matrix, which is a world that's been created to hide them from the truth and prevent them from rising up to take back what's theirs. This can't be. Be what? Be real? Certainly makes you think twice about the future of video games now, doesn't it? The world as it was at the end of the 20th century. It exists now only as part of a neural interactive simulation that we call the Matrix. Number four, the truth about the planet, Planet of the Apes. To suggest that we can learn anything about the simian nature from a study of man is sheer nonsense. In this sci-fi flick, the main characters crash land on a planet in which highly evolved apes are the dominant species. That the ape evolved from a lower order of primate, possibly man. Possessing the ability to speak and having vast human-like intelligence, these apes easily capture the humans and prove to be formidable foes. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! However, when Taylor manages to free himself from captivity, he learns the terrifying truth. This alien planet isn't actually an alien planet at all, but Earth, which has been devastated from a nuclear war that has long since passed. Truly a shocker to end all shockers. He finally really did it. You maniacs! You blew it up! Oh, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Number three, the spinning top, Inception. Sleep, mate. This is your first lesson in shared dreaming. Stay calm. In the world of dreams, each extractor must have a personal totem, for which only he or she knows its distinct characteristics in the real world, such as its weight. You need a small object, potentially heavy, something you can have on you all the time that no one else like knows. Like a coin? No, it needs to be more unique than that. Knowing this allows the extractor to determine if they're in someone else's dream. That way when you look at your totem, you know beyond a doubt that you're not in someone else's dream. Cobb's totem is a spinning top that will only topple over if he's in the real world. Small's actually. This this one was hers. She'd spin it in the dream and would never topple. Just uh, spin and spin. However, the sci-fi heist thriller ends with Cobb's top still spinning, leaving us to question whether or not he's still in a dream or conscious, which makes repeat viewings of the films a must. By the way, do you see that wobble at the end? Number two, extra dimensional tesseract, interstellar. We must confront the reality of interstellar travel. We must reach far beyond our own lifespans. Director Christopher Nolan gives us yet another thinker with this 2014 science fiction epic, Interstellar. The story follows a group of astronauts traveling through a wormhole in an attempt to find another planet that can sustain human life. Our three prospects are at the edge of what might sustain human life. After Cooper sacrifices himself to ensure Brand's survival, he's pulled back in time by an extra-dimensional tesseract, 
which allows him to communicate with his daughter and give her the solution to Bran's equation. I need you know, because the bulk beams are closing the Tesseract. Even though explaining all of this is quite the mouthful, this barely scratches the surface of Nolan's complex film. Don't you get it yet, Tars? They're not beings. They're us. What I've been doing for Murph, they're doing for me. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. So what do I call you anyway? I am a Trimaxian drone ship from... Trimaxian? Affirmative. Okay, I'll call you Max. It's easier. You had me cloned. Yes. Or you cloned the wrong man. Once in a while, one of us wakes up while they're changing things. It's not supposed to happen, but it does. It happened to me. They'll come looking for you, Murdoch. Hey, tell me the truth. Are we still in the game? Number one, Star Child. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece is a film that still leaves viewers stunned, regardless of how many times they've watched it. Though many scenes will leave you with thought-provoking questions, the ending leaves your mind forever bent. Hey. My mind is going. I can feel it. As Bowman approaches the monolith near Jupiter, he's pulled into a vortex, transporting him across space at tremendous speeds. As his journey ends, he's transformed into a fetus inside a glowing orb, hovering near the Earth. The mind can only absorb so much information at a given time, and this most certainly is a brainful. Do you agree with our list? I am impressed. What's your favorite mind-bending sci-fi moment? Something, isn't it? For more brain-twisting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. So what do you say? All right. Smart move.